Let's learn how to create an event. Creating an event can be done from several different entrance points of the software. From the dashboard, you can click the Add Event button and Event Details screen will open. You can also go to the Events menu and click on Space Scheduler. Within the Space Scheduler, you can double-click on any available time or space on the calendar and Event Detail will open. Additionally, from any calendar, you can click the blue Space Scheduler button and it will take you back to that same spot. And lastly, from the Event menu, you can simply click on Add Event. Once you have created an event, you will be presented with the Event Detail window. From within this window, you can enter the event name. Note this is a required field. You can select a category and also add a description. You can also select the Public button if this event is to be displayed on the web calendar to the general public. The default setting is private. If you choose to select the public option, you will be provided with two additional optional fields. The first is public notes. This is used to add notes specific to this event that you want the general public to see. With the public link option, you can add a link to the event on the public calendar to redirect people to items such as event registration, a page on your website, or other URLs. Here, you enter the number of people expected for the event. You can also add contacts if desired. These can be people from within ministry space or outside of the system that would need to be updated on info. If an admin is creating the event, you have the option to disable auto-approve so that the event can be processed through normal event approval workflow of sub-admins. If the date has not already been selected, add the date. If you started this process from the space scheduler, the date will already be indicated. Enter Begin Setup if appropriate. Enter Event Start. If you started this process from a calendar view, the start time will already be indicated. Enter the event end, and then enter if there is an end teardown time if appropriate. If this is a recurring event, make the appropriate selections. Once completed, click the blue Save as Draft and Add Items button, which takes you to the rest of the event creation workflow depending on your selected criteria. This would include setting up your spaces, resources, and services for this event. If you desire, you can cease the workflow and the event will be placed in the My Drafts section on the dashboard. Take note that as you select your spaces, resources, and services, you will see either a green check mark for items not in conflict or a red caution triangle. The red caution triangle indicates there is a conflict on one of your dates selected. Click Next to proceed to Resources and enter the same way as Spaces. Follow the same steps to select Services. Then follow the same process to proceed to Setup. The Setup screen allows you to see if there are any forms that need to be completed. You can also review the configuration and notes added to the event per space. You can click the green button to edit any item, including configurations, notes, and associations of resources and services to particular spaces. Select the appropriate configuration from the drop-down menu and add notes regarding the configuration of the event. Next, click the Save button. This will return you to the Setup tab, where your edited items will be displayed. Now click the Next button. This will display all of the recurring dates, the spaces, resources and services, and whether or not they have been approved or are pending approval. Any conflicts will display in red. If another occurrence is desired, click the Add Occurrence button. Event information will be cloned, but date, 
time, etc. can be changed. Click Save Event or the Show Event Summary button. This will display a summary sheet of the event. If all is acceptable, click Save. The event will not be saved until this is completed. If the event is not to your satisfaction, click Back or select the section you wish to edit from the navigational bar at the top of the event. When you add items to an event, you can save an event as a draft to come back to later and complete. To access drafts from the dashboard, you will see a button for My Drafts. These will be all events you have created but not submitted for approval.